pretty quick video this one. I haven't made a video for a while, I know. I've uh, been messing around with this uh, Garmin Mark, which, which I got recently. Super expensive watch, actually, but uh, I think it's worth it. Um, out of the smartwatches at the moment that have an SDK, uh, I think Garmin's is the best. I'll make a separate video on it. Um, but yeah, I've been having quite a bit of fun with it. So there are some downsides as well, which I'll go through another time. But real quick, this is basically a smart alarm that I've made. Um, and the link to the app is uh, in Connect IQ is in the description. So I made this because Garmin doesn't have um, a, a native smart alarm at the moment. I'm not sure why, um, because it's, you know, there are a number of ways of doing that. Um, if you look at the Apple Watch and some of the others, um, they, they, there are capabilities of having that in there. Um, so I thought I'd make one of those. It doesn't use the accelerometer. It actually looks at your interbeat uh, variability or your heart rate variability or HRV, as some people call it. Um, and it tracks that uh, overnight or over sleep duration. So you can see this is an actual one from uh, my sleep last night. So you can see the various cycles that um, I'm going through. The blue dots basically indicate periods where um, you're most uh, kind of awake during that time. And this white trend line is basically the your heart rate variability, um, how it's trending um, over that sleep duration. And it should generally trend upwards because what the, what that's showing is your heart rate variability increasing and, and kind of a restoring your uh, energy levels, basically. Uh, so this is a good sleep. Sometimes, uh, actually um, last week I was pretty ill. It wasn't COVID or anything, but um, I had, well, I think it was a cold and this trend line was downwards. It's really weird to see because uh, I've been testing this for ages. Uh, it was the first time I'd seen that happen. Garmin does have that uh, body battery um, feature, which I'll go through another time as well, but the there's not that much transparency around what metrics and measurements are going into that. Um, whereas this app, um, I'm not gonna lie, it's really, really straightforward. It's literally just looking at your interview vari variability um, kind of over a minute or so, taking a moving average of it um, and just applying trends uh, over time. Um, and then what you can do is you can set alarm end time, which I've got 7.30 in the morning. Um, and then also you can set the uh, alarm window as well. Um, so I've got 60 minutes uh, with towards the end of the alarm. So basically what that says is that if your alarm end time is 7.30, then from any time between 6.30 and 7.30, if any of these blue dots appear, um, then the alarm will trigger. And yeah, so incidentally on this one, what happened was uh, the, the alarm did go off at that point. Um, uh, that was kind of like, I'd say 10 minutes inside that window. And then I kind of like dozed off again um, in a snooze. And then when the um, alarm time reached the end, then it went off again. It'll keep repeating. And you can you can change that setting in Connect IQ on the phone app. Uh, the other caveat to this is that there is another purchase to be made in order to make the alarm work. Otherwise, you get all the charting and um, graphing features of this, um, and it'll show you how your kind of like sleep quality is, but the alarm feature will be locked um, until you put the um, correct pin in. Um, so all of the details are in Connect IQ. Um, feel free to get in touch if you've got any questions. And um, yeah, look out for more videos. I've got a few more apps coming, uh, kind of like health related. So let's see how that goes.